Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode from the series on Yamaha Tenere 700. Today I would like to talk a little bit about why did I upgrade it to Tenere from CB500X and what are the differences between the two bikes. I had CB500X for six years. I rode it for 100,000 kilometers. I rode it from England to India. I upgraded it for off-roading using Rally Raid Kit um, Level 3, which raised it and gave it the 19-inch uh, wheel because my model was 2013. And all that experience taught me what I actually need from the bike, what I'm using on the bike. And the funny thing is that the CB500X actually, for me, does a lot of things. Um, I was really happy with it. it. It's amazing adventure bike. There are probably only two shortcomings which this bike actually solves. The first one would be off-road capabilities. Now, as I said, I upgraded CB500X to Rally Raid Kit, but despite all that, and that is actually the limit where you can upgrade the CB500X, you cannot put the 21-inch front wheel and in rear you will always have 17 inch wheels. The Tenere solves this elegantly. You have out of the box really capable off-road machine uh, with a higher ground clearance, proper wheels and a proper suspension which is fully adjustable in the front and fully adjustable in the rear. It's not ideal suspension but that's for the different episode. So that is really cool. I mean that is what I really wanted. Now the second reason and the second limitation of CB was the power. After the six years on the same bike, I kind of like, I'm, I started riding a little bit different. And uh, especially with the luggage on the CB500X, you have to work the engine to get the power out. There is a lot of power and there is enough power for 99% of riding. Tenere has, 20 more horsepower and almost exactly the same weight and that solves this problem elegantly and I don't really need more power than the Tenere has at least at this point maybe I will overgrow the Tenere at the future but at the moment this is exactly what I want because when I travel I rarely go fast and I'm not racing and um, I also want the bike to be reasonably economical. More power, the bigger engine, more fuel it eats. And this bike is not as frugal as a CB500X is. On a CB500X, I can get from one tank in a Rotopax about 550 kilometers. On a Tenere, I can get only 400 in the same configuration. Tenere for me solved these two main problems. Everything else about the CB, it was a low-tech bike. It didn't have much electronics in it apart from ABS and injection. The parts were cheap and all that. And I think that is quite similar with the Tenere. So what is different and how these two bikes compare? The main difference, apart from the bigger engine, I think is the height of the bikes. So despite I have um, lifted my CB500X about two centimeters, 20 millimeters. Um, the Tenere is still much higher bike and that achieves the higher ground clearance, but it also means that the seat is much higher. And because it's much higher, I have to be on my tiptoes almost all the time and I have to move from one cheek to another to actually be flat footed. So that's something which short riders, I'm 100, 68 uh, centimeters high need to count with because, you know, short riders like me will have to have experience how to handle the taller bikes. I mean, when I upgraded the CB500X with Rally Raid Kit and it lifted it up, I could really feel how it changed. And I think that um, comparing the stock CB500X with Tenere, people would feel quite a lot how much more top heavy this would be. In terms of the weight, it's exactly the same weight, uh, considering that you add the crash bars to both and all that kind of stuff. I'm really used to handling 200 kilo bike. 
So this one being the same weight is not an issue for me. Once you start riding it, it's really nimble. It rides really well. Throat capability of this bike is amazing and it rides really, really, really nicely. Especially comparing to stock CB500X. Um, things like sand or mud or um, big rocks or something like that on CB500 would be quite an issue. In terms of comfort, I think that the CB500X in general is a more comfortable bike, um, mainly because the uh, Tenere is higher, which means that the seat needs to be narrower in order to reach uh, to the ground, and that makes quite a difference. Seat is also quite hard. One thing to mention also, the windshield is smaller and not adjustable like on uh, CB500X. Tenere vibrates much less than a CB500X vibrated, so uh, handlebars and the foot pegs vibrate much less on the uh, Tenere than vibrated on my CB500X. And that brings me to price, and I'm not really sure about that, but the thing is, if you think about CB500X, which costs now about 7,000 euros, um, if you want adjustable suspension on a CB500X, you have to have a rally rate kit or similar alternative, which is gonna cost you about 1,000 euros. So we're talking about 8,000 euros. I have bought the Yamaha for uh, 9,100. I think that extra 1,000 pounds, extra 1,000 euros for me was worth it. Whether it's a good deal in terms of what bikes are actually available, that's a different story, but for me, I really wanted a specific thing and this bike ticks the boxes. I'm not saying that it's a perfect bike. I do have a list of things which I see as problems or issues, but in 10,000 kilometers, I think it's still on more positive rather than a negative side. And I'm sure there's gonna be another episode about those. So, See you next time.